Travel Lemming here, gonna walk you through how to use Google Flights to save a bunch of coin on your airfare. Uh, as I mentioned in the article, which is linked to in the bottom uh, of uh, the details here of this YouTube video, what's really important when it comes to saving money on flights is to be flexible about three things, your dates, your departing airports, and your destinations. If you do that, you'll have more flights open to you and you'll have a better chance of finding a cheap one. And that's really how you go about finding cheap airfare. Google Flights is great because it really allows you to search a lot of different possible flights by being flexible about those things. I'm gonna walk you through how to do that real quick here. So to access Google Flights, you just simply go to google.com slash flights, uh, and it comes up, it looks a lot like any other airfare search engine, it looks a lot like Kayak or Mimondo or any of the other ones you might use. And you can use it like a normal one in the sense that you can just put it in your airfare and you can put in your dates and you can search. Uh, and that's pretty intuitive and you can probably figure that out. But what I wanna show you is how to use this to really up your search game by being flexible about those three things. Uh, so let's imagine that I'm looking to take a flight uh, from New York um, because that's where, where I'm leaving from. That's the one thing uh, that you need to sort of do on, on the search process here is put in a, a departing airport. You can run a few different searches to try different ones, though. So you might also try Philadelphia, you might try Boston, anywhere you could go from here. Uh, but rather than use the search feature here, what we're actually gonna do is click this explore destinations bit. And that's gonna pull up this nifty map here. And now this map by default uh, comes up with uh, a flexible search calendar option here, where you can search a bunch of different ways. You can search any one week trip in the next six months. You can search a two week trip, you can search a weekend trip, or you can pick a specific month. So if you want to be maximum flexibility, let's say you're just looking for a two week trip sometime in May, um, you could just search there and it will show you prices all around the world. They just sort of move this map around. You can see, well, you know, you could go to uh, Medellin for $350, Madrid for 330, Rome for 347, Athens for 544, you know, New Delhi for 613, you can get to Malaysia for 525. And again, this is for a round trip there. Um, and so, you know, there's some pretty good deals to be had here. I think Kuala Lumpur for 525 round trip is a pretty good one. Uh, but you have to click through and see what the dates are for that. This one, as you can see here, is from Monday, May 6th. Oh, sorry, we'll pull that one back up. Uh, this one is from Monday, May 6th to Wednesday, May 22nd. Um, so those are the dates that uh, that you would need to fly for that specific deal. But oftentimes, if there's a deal you, for those dates, you could probably find a similar deal around those dates. It's a good place to start when you're looking at that. So I usually start with sort of a flexible search, looking for possible destinations. I would rerun this search a few different times for New York City, for Boston, for other airports I might leave from. Uh, and I would try to keep as much flexibility as possible. Uh, with that said, uh, there is some advantage in this calendar to switching to a specific set of dates. Um, so if I knew that I only had to leave, uh, uh, let's say I'm looking for a vacation, a two week vacation at the start of May. Um, I just put in my dates like you would on any other search engine, uh, pull this up. And now because uh, we're not searching on the flexible portion because we're looking at specific sets of dates, we have a few other filters that you can pull here. Um, you can do non-stops or multiple stops, you can do time of day, but the really, you can do airlines, but the really important one is the price filter. So we can say, look, I want a round trip flight somewhere around the world and I am not gonna pay more than $500 for it. And you can see where will $500 get me on these specific dates leaving from New York. And as you can see, we could go, you could take a vacation to Mexico City for $284. It's not a terrible deal. You could go to Barcelona for $359, which is a pretty good, $330 to Madrid. Um, as you scroll through here, you could go all the way to India for $463 round trip on those specific dates. That's a pretty good deal, I think. Uh, you could also go to Singapore for $494, also a pretty good deal. Bangkok for $463, China for $400. Uh, usually, let's see down here, yeah, not so much luck with Australia, which tends to be a bit more expensive. Um, but as you can see, you could get quite a quite a bit of ways uh, here, uh, just sort of browsing around this map and using the Explore feature. You can also switch, and I sometimes do this, to one way. And the reason why one way uh, works better is because 
you can sort of pair together flights. So maybe you fly into Singapore, you travel around Southeast Asia, you fly out of Bangkok, uh, if that's how the, the flights work. It's a little bit more work uh, because it requires a few extra searches, um, but you can save extra money that way. Uh, because if we can see for one way, you know, you can get to Madrid for only 170 there, Delhi for 325, Singapore for 325, Bangkok for 307. Uh, and there's a lot more places um, that you can get for under $500. Of course, that's only a one-way ticket. All of these blue ones that are coming up. So that's basically how to use Google Flights in a nutshell. Uh, try to be as flexible as possible. Remember to start this process over by entering a new departing airport. Uh, and um, just uh, be sure to use that explore feature. I think it's a really great engine. Uh, it's my first step in my booking process to see the full three-step process I use to find my own flights, which I do on a nearly weekly basis as I travel the world. Read my full article, uh, which you'll find uh, in the details of this video.